then see someone in the corner. I was like, look at her shoulders. Look, look at them. She looks like she trains. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Gabriel say AK the Truth back with another video. That that beginning clip looked hella old, didn't it? So basically, been getting a few questions about like how me and Aisha met, especially now that I've been introducing even more like family stuff and like you've seen her and you've seen Elijah and stuff. So people are asking how did you guys actually meet? How did you get together? What was the story? Funny story is we recorded this when we started a joint channel. But it's now on Aisha's channel, she's gonna be doing some more content on it in the future. But I thought Yo, you guys, a lot of you guys might not have seen it. My subscriber base has grown a lot since I recorded that video. So here we go. Here's a story of how me and Naisha met. Enjoy. You could buy me diamonds. Many people don't know, well, you know that me and Naisha are both into fitness. So you don't know how we met. Yeah. It's a different story. So actually, if you want to tell your version of events first. Okay. Let me tell you off. <laughs> All right, so the way that things happen was was crazy still to this day i still can't believe how it actually came about so i was friends with these two guys maria and rakesh they were like let's go out i'd recently broken up with my ex-girlfriend at the time and they were like let's go out to a club in brixton so okay cool i just got my bmw i was really proud of it i was like yeah i'm gonna drive up there i thought, I thought you know i'm gonna stunt in front <laughs> Got to Maria's house, they started their pre-drinking or whatever and then we were like, okay, let's go. It had been snowing that day. So as we go to leave, my car wouldn't start at all. There was, there was like nothing would start. It was just dead. I was like, you know what? I'm not going out. Then Maria was like, nah, let's still go out. You need to enjoy yourself. Take my mum's car. So we took our mum's car, a seven-seater Sephira, so I couldn't stunt as much as I wanted to. And <laughs> got to the club. I was ready to leave by, say, 11 o'clock, but Maria was doing her thing so she was off you know dancing or whatever and it was her car so I couldn't just take off as it you know the way that I would normally so then I then see someone in the corner I was like look at her shoulders look, look at them she looks like she trains <laughs> That was literally what went through my head. I told my friend Rakesh, and then actually you explain this bit because this bit still baffled. I don't know how this got so messed up and confused. But then Rakesh, no, Maria came up to you. Yeah, so Maria came up to me and said, "Oh, my friend likes you," and I was like, "Oh, who?" She was like, "Him," and I was like, "Oh, so that was Rakesh." She was like, "Please, please, please, just talk to him." And it's like, I was like, but. Uh, do I have to? And she was like, just talk to him. He don't need to do anything, but just talk, just talk to him. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll talk to him. So I spoke to him and he's like, actually, it's not me that likes you. It's my friend over there, which was Gabriel. So I was like, oh, okay, right. So will you talk to him? And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. I don't think she liked me at first. Because <sighs> I was into tall guys. Yeah. And I'm it five foot ten and three quarters. <laughs> it was his height. <laughs> so yeah, I was with little guys then and I just finished with uh, an ex. So, yeah, I wasn't interested in anyone right now, so I was like, yeah, tall guys. But anyway, he was like, just talk to him. So I spoke to him. Well, I didn't speak to you. No, we like, didn't talk. I, no, yeah, we didn't. We didn't. I told no. him like turn to come over and he he didn't at the time. So he was outside the club fin club finished and we was outside. Oh yeah. And my sister runs out, my sister's very hyper. <laughs> She runs out and goes, hugs Gabriel and goes, ooh, nice body. So I was thinking, hmm. Bearing in mind that I didn't actually know who this person was. No. This was a random person that just came out on the street, came out of the club and started hugging me and started rubbing my biceps. And I was like, all right, this is weird. And yeah, then so I she just said, so Cherry, my sister, who was like, ooh, you've got a nice body. So then that made me think, hmm, nice body. <laughs> Right, so then he came over and I was like, my name's Gabriel and I was like, I'm Naisha. And um, I don't usually give up my number at Ray, so I give out, like I either change my last digit of my number or first digit. But this time, I decided to give my number <laughs> and dreaded the call after. Because she saw the sexiness. She saw the sexiness. Nah, mm. uh, well, my sister said he had a good body. So, so it's all down to my sister that he got a chance. <laughs> I was just seeing height. <laughs> wow. So. Wow. <laughs> no, God, please, no, no! But yeah, so 
that was it really. My sister. Actually, did, we did talk in the club, didn't we? I'm oh, sure we talked. We talked briefly in the club because that's when you told me that you were sponsored by Grenade and you're a personal trainer. Then I was like, I'm going to be a personal trainer as well. Oh my God. And then I, I googled you when I went to the top. <laughs> googled. Googled me. Which is that sponsored athlete. I was like, bro, that's, I want to be a sponsored athlete. So then I went and I was searching her name and I was like, the first picture that came up, I was like, yes, 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 yes. And I, I can't remember what happened. Then that's where. I think Maria, with her drunk self, she was like, I need someone to talk to, there's, uh, there's people. And then we were distracted, and then that's when it went back to outside, which is where that bit started. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, I remember the outside. And then I gave my number over, and then was dreading the call later. But then get, get how the, the sequence of events, if I'd driven my own car, if I had driven my car and I was planning on starting and all that kind of crap, I would have left before I saw the shoulders. And I nearly didn't go. Oh yeah. Because I had just finished with an ex and I was waiting on my sister to contact me whether was, and Blondie. <laughs> to, whether Who, they who's were, a DJ by the way. He's a DJ. Yeah. DJ Blondie. We was, I was waiting on them to let me know what was going on. So I messaged my sister, I was like, are we still going or what? Or can I go to sleep? Like, my sisters was like, yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going. So I decided to go and then bucked up on this man. My five foot ten and three quarter self yeah. made it into the sequence of and courtship. Yeah, courtship. Yeah. Well, she said to a friend. Well, That's what I was thinking. Actually, I was, actually, I wasn't thinking of picking up the phone when you called. Wow. I just didn't, I, I'm not a phone person, I don't really like calls, so I was thinking, if he calls, I'm not picking up. My twist! Oh, my twist! <laughs> <laughs> and then, what happened after that? Because then, um, the deal wasn't set at that point. This was, I mean, I, I kind of knew it anyway, I still needed to, you know, show my romantic side and all of that jazz. But yeah, it was... Valentine's Day. No, was that the deal breaker? Before that. Okay, so it was the call. <laughs> <laughs> so he was calling. I knew it was him, and I was thinking, do I pick up? I don't want to pick up. I just, I'm not even interested in anyone right now. And do I pick up? I usually don't pick up and just let them ring out, and then they will ring for days and days and days and days, and I don't pick up. But I decided to pick up and we set our first date. The first date was when we went to, is it Chiquitos? Chiquitos. He pulled up in his, what, your BMW? BMW 3 Series. And I thought series. it was his mummy's. And no. I was like, this is not his car. <laughs> it was my car. I was, that was when I was working in recruitment. I was killing it. I bought the BMW 3 Series and she thought it was like an old person's car. No, I thought it was his mummy's. And I was like, this is not his car. So I gave his number plate to my mum, just in case. <laughs> Just in case he was a psycho, so I gave his number plate. My mum was like, wow. "Be careful, be careful." Wow. <laughs> so I gave his number plate to my mum just in case he was a psycho, and we went to Chiquitos. Yeah, <laughs> probably way. But then this is what sealed the deal for me. It's not what sealed the deal for her, but what sealed the deal for me is when we ordered the food, and then I called Rakesh straight after, and he can he can validate that. He's I said, Rakesh. She eats as fast as I do. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were just munching food and I was like, her appetite is sick. She has good shoulders. She has a good body. She trains. I was like, this, this is it. This is, this is it. <laughs> it. <laughs> so he was in love in, <laughs> at yeah. first dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of at first Google. Mm. So. <laughs> And then after that, it was, it was Valentine's Day, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Valentine's Day, I wanted to do something nice. It, I literally just started Fearless Academy um, that January. So at this time, I was kind of going through the prep to like get transformation pictures and stuff. So I was training my friend Suji and I had to train her that night. So I finished training her at Gym Fall in Croydon and I was racing to Streatham, I was racing and I actually 
went into the back of someone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, move, move, move. And then the light went, uh, yeah, the traffic light went um, green. But I just saw the green light, so I started moving. And obviously, Miss Granny old in front hadn't started moving. I just went, it was only a small tap. And then she could see how much of a frenzy I was in. And she was just like, you know what? It's okay. And then, yeah, raced up the back streets. And then got there just in time. Actually, no, I had to train Suji after. So I had to come and see you. Then I had to go back to gym floor to train Suji. Mm. And I was like, I need to get this card. And then this teddy bear, I need, to, I need to show that I am involved. And I did. I got there. Just put, were you asleep? No, I wasn't there. Yeah, you were. No. no, no. Oh no, you weren't. You, you rang me and I was still at work. I yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, remember? And I thought nah, nothing was happening for Valentine's Day. They were having a Valentine's evening, so I thought I might as well just stay for the Valentine's evening. Oh yeah. Because yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. is going to happen for me. I used to ha no Valentine's Day. I hated Valentine's Day because it was always crap. So I was like, I'll just stay at work because they're doing like Valentine's evening massages and all this sort of stuff. But I was on the treadmill, <laughs> walking up the treadmill. I don't even do cardio. I was just so vexed. I said I'll do cardio. So I was walking, and then I got a call. Was like, oh, are you at home? And I was like, no, I'm at work. So oh, I was thinking of coming over. I was like, oh. <laughs> really? I was so shocked. I was like, oh, really? I was like, okay, I'll come home. So then I got, got home now and Gable, was, my housemate was there and Gable had set up everything. So that was the deal for me. That I was like, no matter about his height, <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice guy. So guys, nice guys don't necessarily finish last and short guys, you still have a chance. So yeah, but I think that it. And then yeah, the rest is history. Not history. really, he left me at the airport when he said he was going to pick me up. Mm. So I could have just been like, you know what, Why see you later. later. You too. <laughs> Alright, so basically, like, I was, I was, I was grinding. I, I had, I was trying to get like loads of stuff done. I was sleeping at like, that time I was training at like midnight and I was trying to get, still get work done and all that kind of stuff. I was still working at, um, the rec I don't know the recruitment job by then. Yeah, so I left the recruitment job, so it was just like full tilt, just, I need to make money. So, um, I said, that, yeah, because I was FIBO, so she was coming back from FIBO in Germany, and asked me if I could pick her up, I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. And then I overslept. <laughs> See, so that could have killed mind, everything. In my mind, I was like, see ya. How, how did I save it? <sighs> Yeah. So I travelled with my suitcase on Tell peak em. time, <laughs> peak time on the tube, and got home and there was petals all along the stairs. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, towards my room. At this point, I was living with housemates. So I was there was petals and everything. So I was like, ah, oh, no one's never really done that for me. So I, yeah, you redeemed yourself. I had to. I had to. <laughs> you did redeem yourself, or it would have been. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm quite happy with that because I that could have been the deal breaker. I just finished everything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then from then on, it's just been bang, bang, bang. Yeah, proposed the following Valentine's Day. Um, went on a family holiday before. <laughs> yeah, went to Barbados on a family holiday before, and that was after like six months. Yeah, we moved in. Four yeah. With each other. It's gone really quick. But it's, it's, it was weird because like it didn't seem like it was fast. It just, it just seemed like it was right. Yeah, it felt right. So yeah. <laughs> then yeah, madness. The rest is history. Married. Elijah is upstairs sleeping. And it's just it's crazy, but yeah, everyone thinks that we it was like love at first sight on the treadmills or she was spotting me on the bench press. Those are the stories that I've had told to me that's what they think happened, but then when you say no, it was a club in Brixton, they're like, huh? And he was short. <laughs> and thanks for pointing that out again. Just thanks to Cherry for hugging him and telling me he had a good body. <laughs> yeah. 
That oh, saved sexy. you. That saved you. See, so if you're short, make some gains. <laughs> <laughs> make some gains. Watch my channel, make some gains, and you'll, you'll get a lovely, beautiful queen like you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is our, that's our story. That's how we got together. Subscribe, share this with everyone, and yeah, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Stay tuned. Peace.